Hey, what's going on YouTube? Seha Man back. Uh, we're continuing our Spider-Man Classics reviews. The top here it says The Amazing Spider-Man. This is by Toy Biz. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Battle Action Spider-Man with Spider Tracer Launcher. Um, I did order several you know, Spider-Man Classic figures, so you're going to be seeing a lot of reviews on my Spider-Man Classic figures. Uh, the Spider-Man actually looks nice. The reason why I purchased this figure was mainly you know, for the outfit, and plus he looks like he's got some pretty cool articulation. Uh, he's got several accessories you can see there in the back. This is the blue carded version. Got a picture of Spider-Man there. Got the figure there. And uh, we'll take a look at the back. <clears throat> it's got the instructions, you know, on how to use the figure. Over here we got the other figures from the series. We got Howling Man-Wolf. Uh, Shark Trap Spider-Man, Super Strength Spider-Man, and Venom. A little read-up, I'll go ahead and get into that. This read-up's right there. It says here, the bite of an irradiated spider granted Peter Parker the incredible arachnid-like powers. When he lost his beloved Uncle Ben to a burglar, grief-stricken Peter vowed to use his amazing abilities to protect his fellow man. He had learned an, an, valuable lesson, an invaluable lesson with great power. There must, to, there must also come great responsibility. Nice little read up. So what we're going to go ahead and do is take this figure outside of the packaging and we'll take a closer look at Battle Action Spider-Man. So stay tuned guys. Okay, so here we have Spider-Man outside of the packaging and uh, Spider-Man actually looks really cool. This is going to be actually a really quick review. Um, I'm not going to really get too much into the accessories because I think the accessories are kind of crappy. But um, I'll go ahead and get into them. He does come with this little backpack which, you know, just mounts onto his back. It's got a peg there. He's got a peg hole in the back. And he has all these different little Spider-Man launchers. He's got like four here and uh, one here. And they just you can snap these off. They have pegs and a peg hole and just snap them on. It's like cartridges, like I said. He has this launcher on his wrist. We just put on and just you can use it like as a flinging action, flinging action feature. So just like that. And then he just flings it. It's just, it's dumb. It's I'm gonna take end up taking this off. I'm gonna there you go. He just it just plugs off. He's got a peg there, peg there. You peg it here, and you put these um little dumb little launchers on here, and you just fling them. But that's <laughs> that's as far as these go. Like I said, I'm not gonna get too much into the accessories. I mean, they look cool, like for display purposes, but not to have like on Bat or on Batman on Spider Man's back. I mean, let's see here. I don't even know how well this is going to go on. Not even, yeah, it's like a backpack. I'm not even going to try. It looks, it looks dumb. It's pointless to me. So that's, that's the accessories he comes with. But this Spider-Man, I'm going to take this off. But this Spider-Man actually really looks cool. Um, articulation is, he's a little stiff, this guy, but he's a really, really nice looking Spider-Man. The um, eyes actually look a little different. This one looks, they kind of look almost like, well, no, I guess it just looks like that to the camera. It kind of looks like they're like goggles. But you can see the spider on him is actually a bigger, thicker spider symbol. And uh, there's the one in the back. He kind of looks a uh, little, kind of looks cartoony. He looks pretty cartoony. But again, he is a great Spider-Man to have for your collection. He's still, he's still a great looking figure. Um, as far as articulation goes, the head can go up and down. It goes down and up pretty good. Uh, rotate side to side. Arms do go, uh, do they go in and out? They go forward, they, they rotate, they kind of go in and out, not too much. They do go forward and back. He is double jointed at the elbows. Um, rotation in the arm. He's got that pre-posed, uh, like shooting action pose. The wrist can rotate, not rotate, but it goes in and out. There is no, ro no rotation in the wrist. So you can't really get him into like a shooting web action pose. And maybe, unless you mess with this, but... The joints are kind of stiff. Um, this one, pretty much the same thing, same articulation. He's got that pre pose finger um, spider shooting po pose. This one does have finger articulation, though. He just goes up and down. And it's got that little in and out there at the wrist. This one doesn't have the finger articulation. Um, he does have a nice ab crunch. You can hear that. This one does rotate at the waist, but. He rotates the waist, you can't, just a little, because once you rotate it, he does that little flinging action where he shoots the, uh, those little launchers. So when you turn him at the waist, he goes right back. So that's his action feature that he has. 
Um, doesn't rotate the opposite way, he just rotates one way. The legs um, go in and out, they can go forward and back, double jointed knees. Uh, let's see, foot goes up and down, he's got toe articulation. Rotation in the leg. These Spider-Man figures are crazy, these Spider-Man classic figures, I mean they they have these, um, not you would think all these like Spider-Man figures would have the same articulation, but they don't. Every each and every one of them is different in their own way. Oh, and he has these these like uh, uh, what do you call them? Shoulder joints or chest joints? I don't know what you call them. Where they, he can go in and out right here. I'll show you over here. It's like in the armpit area. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, he is a great he is a great Spider-Man figure. I mean, as far as like the costume goes, I think it looks it looks really nice. Another great addition for your Spider-Man um, uh, collection. I mean, you can just po put him along with all, all your other Spider-Man figures. All the different outfits. Looks great. Okay, guys. This is my review today. Today we're looking at the uh, Spider-Man classic Spider-Man. He does come with these cra kind of crappy little accessories. I don't know. They're cool for kids, but I mean, I'm not going to use them for anything. Okay, this is Seha Man. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. And uh, again, this is a great figure to have. These Spider-Man classic figures are really nice. I mean, the paint schemes are pretty good. The uh, detailing on them, it's just nice. They're very nice um, figures. Again, this is by Toys. so I mean, you know it's going to be a, a great figure. All right, guys, this is Seha Man. Hope you guys enjoyed my review, and we'll see you guys next time.